For this problem, I'm asked to calculate the two-dimensional curl of this vector f, and then if f is conservative, to find the potential function for it. So let's recall how to calculate two-dimensional curl. It's the determinant of a two-by-two two matrix. And the first row is going to be kind of like partial derivatives. So d dx and d dy. And then the second row of the matrix is going to be the i and j components of our vector f of x, y. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this determinant. I want to multiply along the main diagonal. So d over dx times quantity 2xy plus 3x squared y squared, and then I'm going to subtract the other diagonal. So d dy times y squared plus 2xy cubed. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these partial derivatives so I can find out what this is going to be. So the partial derivative of 2xy with respect to x is going to be 2y. The partial derivative of 3x squared y squared, that's a product, my bad. Right? Technical difficulties. Okay, let's check this product to make sure it matches. d over dx and 2xy plus 3x squared y squared. Now I'm all set. And this partial derivative is going to be 6xy squared. Now let's do the second component. So the partial derivative of y squared with respect to y is going to be 2y. And the partial derivative of 2xy cubed with respect to y is going to be 6xy squared. So when I go to subtract these, I see that I actually have the same term both places. So my two-dimensional curl is going to be 0. And that tells me that f is conservative. So now I want to find its potential function. So let's go over here and do that. I'm just going to rewrite my vector. Okay, so if I want to find the potential function, then I'm saying that the i component is the partial derivative with respect to x of that potential function, and the j component is its partial derivative with respect to y. So to kind of work backwards, I want to integrate each term. So I'm going to integrate the i term with respect to x, and then the y term, the, the j term with respect to y. And hopefully these two integrals should give me the same thing. And then I'll have that as my potential function. So let's start with this integral with respect to x. I'm going to treat y squared like a constant. So when I integrate with respect to x, I get xy squared. And then when I integrate 2xy cubed, I'm going to get x squared y cubed. And then I'll add a constant of integration. Now let's move over here. The integral of 2xy with respect to y is going to be xy squared. And then the integral of 3x squared y squared is going to be x squared y to the third. And again, add a constant of integration. So let's check. And I can see that these two functions are actually the same, so I can write this as my potential function.
So my potential function is f of x, y equals x, y squared plus x squared, y cubed plus some constant c, where c is just any real number.